What's up everyone, it's me Shirley. Welcome to the Samsung Galaxy S10 unboxing and first impression. I have ordered this yesterday and received this delivery this morning. So the delivery was pretty quick. So this is the packaging, so I'm going to open this. And this one is the SIM card. I got this from EE Network. And this is how the box look like. The whole box is wrapped up with plastic and there is a security seal in here. And it's written here, do not accept if the seal is broken. So the seal is okay, it's not broken, but I'm going to break it now. On the side of the box, you have all the information written in here is IMEI number, uh, part code number uh, and it's written here Samsung Galaxy S10 and the color is uh, prism green. And on the back of the phone is written the size of the phone is written here 128 GB memory, 8 GB RAM, wireless power share, wireless charging etc etc. So here is the Galaxy S10 in prism green. It's a beautiful beautiful prism green color. Very shiny and I must say it's a very good looking phone. Let's see what else they have. So we already have a screen protector here. And we can take off the protection layer from the back. If you have a black phone you will get black cable other than that you will get uh, this kind of white cable so this is the adapter here we have USB cable here we have USB type C uh, port to transfer data and this is the AKG headphone definitely updated from the older versions Here we have the pin to open up the phone to put the SIM and the memory card in. And inside this box we have warranty card and quick start guide. I'm not going to open it now. First slot for the SIM and the second slot uh, for the memory card. Uh, but I'm going to do this later on. The left hand side of the phone you have volume button. To increase the volume you have to press up and to decrease the volume you have to press down the Bixby button down there and on the right hand side you have power button After turn this on, it's going to give you all the instruction how to set this up. So I'm going to quickly set it up and connect it to my Wi-Fi. Now my phone setup has been done and it's good to go and it's connected to my Wi-Fi as well. I'm really amazed that how light is this phone. It's a pretty big phone but still it doesn't feel heavy at all. In this phone you will get 6.1 inches dynamic amyloid display, 3400 mAh battery and triple camera 12pm wide angle plus 12pm telephoto plus 16MP ultra wide field of view camera, dual pixel 10MP AF f1.9 selfie camera ultrasonic fingerprint 128 gb memory 8 gb ram stereo speakers and earphones sound by akg wireless power share wireless charging water and dust resistant samsung galaxy s10 is available in four different colors uh, prism white prism black prism green and prism blue all of the colors are so pretty and shiny. I have never used a green phone before, that's why I bought this.
I'm with Samsung for last few years and I'm really happy with their performance. As a YouTuber, I use my phone a lot along with my vlogging camera. So I'm expecting some good quality videos from my new S10. You can charge your Galaxy Buds or your Samsung watch from this phone. I will show you how. All you need to do is slide down and you will get an option wireless power share. You need to turn that on and then you will get all the instruction what to do is going to appear on the screen you have to put your galaxy buds or samsung watch whatever you want to charge you have to put it on the back of your phone then uh, it will appear on the screen that the device is charging as simple as that i think this is a very uh, smart idea and i bought this uh, phone case and the pop socket for this phone i'm not going to take off the screen protector on the top uh, and on the back part you have the same thing plastic uh, protector. I'm going to take it off As my phone is green. I bought this uh, green and pink uh, case. I think it's going pretty well And now I'm going to put the pop socket on nowadays. I'm so obsessed with pop socket I can't use my phone without pop sockets I drop my phone very often and this pop socket really helped me to hold the phone properly and also it can be used as a stand but i think this phone is quite big that's why it needs two pop sockets then it can stand properly so this is the end of my video if you like this video please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up stay healthy and be happy see you next time bye bye